explain. No, let's do our reading really quick. <laughs> I'm so funny. Woo. So uh, 
I can't seem to find the dead. It is the sixth. Yes. Yeah, I'm totally unorganized. I get it. And I have a lot of secret talents. <laughs> You'll see. It's fun. <clears throat> It is your soul's only desire to turn its grandest concept about itself into its greatest experience. I think that's what we're doing right now. <laughs> At least that's what I'm doing. So. My grandest experience, obviously, I'm the goddess of radical self-love. I love myself 100%. <laughs> I am willing to do whatever I have to to make sure that I am being taken care of. See, that I am getting my needs met. I'm not hurting anybody. <laughs> I'm just making sure I'm happy. Why shouldn't I? I deserve it. I've done a lot of amazing things in my life. It doesn't even matter. It's our birthright. Yes. It's the greatest challenge to really love yourself. And I have had a wonderful life full of experiences to help others realize, I guess, I knew this time was going to come one day where I had to help others through my stories. So, yep, that's what we're doing. And I got a story for you from this week. So, if you watched or if you go back and watch my last video, you would find out that somebody went shopping on my credit card or my bank account, not credit card. That would have been way better. <laughs> um, yeah, so all these amazing things happened afterwards, though. You know, yes, I'm playing with my hair again because it's down. That's why I like wearing it up because I play with it if it's down. So Tragedy, in a way, equals blessings if you let it and if you allow your greatest thought to proceed. That's where it comes. It's like your belief system. So anyway, if you get enough of it going, the universe will not let you down in one way or the other. You can choose to go the negative route or you can choose to go the positive route. If you go to the negative route, then you're going to attract those things. If you go the positive route, you're going to attract those things. So basically, I want to share with you my experience of this radical self-love because I'm always choosing to no matter what, stay in the positive or try to like, it's hard, it's hard, but <laughs> we have to listen and we have to pay attention to the signs. So here it is. That experience happened two days ago where I went to the bank and they made everything great, okay, which was a blessing because I had been told no twice. So do not take no for an answer. <laughs> and um, then, well, now my car is starting to <laughs> have some issues. And, like, my car is ridiculously, like, such a blessing because the car that I was driving, there was no way throughout this experience. I shouldn't say no way because you can make anything happen, but this is the way the universe gave me like what I am 
gave me exactly what I was supposed to have at all times. I have exactly what I'm supposed to have at all times. Okay. That's what it is. I have, and it gets scary because you're so close ah, to losing it all. It's kind of like I was staying stuck on this island. Okay. But I saw a ship up in the distance, right? And then I was swimming towards it. And then I realized I started running out of food and shit that I needed. And I'm like looking at the island and I'm going, oh my God, that island's too far away. Now I'm way past the halfway point. I am stuck in the middle of this ocean swimming to this ship that in some ways, it seems like it's getting closer, and in other ways, it seems like it's getting further away, so it's like a mirage. But it's my life, so it's a little bit more tricky than just, well, I guess that would be your life, and it would be pretty tricky, especially with sharks all over. So, I have this car now that isn't my car. It's my daughter's car, and really my ex's, because it's still in his name. So um, it doesn't fit all my kids, but we make it work and it's super cheap on gas. And so I'm extremely thankful for this car. Well, now all of a sudden, like the heat started going out <laughs> and uh, yes, uh, like I don't know what's going on. So I'm going to have to get that figured out. Then... Well, let's just say how I am doing all this is with faith and on a shoestring budget. I mean, like I am like, whew, no room for errors, <laughs> no room, no room. And now there's a few errors, right, going on and there's no room for errors. It's so funny. This kind of looks like whatever. So I am also the free mermaid, if you can't tell. I'm mermaid. So. But um, besides the radical self-love expert. Um, so I got some not so great news or I wasn't receiving any communication from somebody I really needed to, which is like part of my in-source stream. So <clears throat> the shoestring budget is not giving me a, a very much ease as I am chasing my dreams through radical self-love. But I'm not chasing my dreams. I'm making my dreams because they're already here. We already made them happen. I mean, like, there's a website. I already wrote a book. I'm just reading it for all of you. So we'll talk about that in just a second. So... Here's the thing. Remember when I said yesterday, if you watched it, that I kind of, I completely freaked out when, like, when I found out about my account, right? I completely, like, went bonkers and went, like, oh, my God, I'm embarrassed. And then I talked about it here, right? So as all this is going on today, these things adding up. I'm going, hmm, what is it that you would like to tell me? What is it that you would like me to know so that I can not be faced with more anxiety and blah, blah, all of this, right? Unease. I don't really like it. So... 
I have answers, I get answers because I ask and I get answers. So there's a lot of laughing because my guides uh, are hilarious. They think that like if I slip when I'm getting out of the bathtub and fall, it's funny, they laugh. It's about being humble. Yeah. So laughing at myself as a human being and how clumsy I am or whatever. There's a lot of things. So, and even times like this, very funny <clears throat> to my guides because I'm growing, right? I'm growing because I'm choosing an alternative route to freaking out. Alignment. What is the lesson? So the lesson, the lesson. We love the lessons. <laughs> you know, you know that the, like I'm halfway like going, what the hell? And I'm halfway going, yes, I know. Like it's more than halfway the yes, I know. Okay. But the, what the hell is more like my ego. What are you doing to me? What are you doing to me? You know, like pulling my ego with us kicking and screaming because my ego doesn't like not being in a charge and me taking matters into my own hands to allow my guides and guidance system to bring you all of this. But my ego doesn't like it because my ego likes to stay in her bathtub. <laughs> so So this is what the answers are. This is what, you know, all this is about. I've been working on this. I've been chasing this dream. I, I've been putting it all together, right? I wasn't, I wasn't chasing it. I guess I was living it, you know, making choices every single day. And I kind of figured out where it all started. I mean, for real. So I'm going to tell you that story, but not right now. We'll do that tomorrow. So that story, I mean, there is my life before it, which will be read through the book on Patreon, okay? But in the last couple years, when I started choosing me and what I wanted and, and doing whatever I needed to make the things I wanted happen, and made sure that the the things that I cared most about would be there, or my values around the things I cared most about were most important, no matter what, no matter what, okay? So, this is the end like this is the beginning but this is also the end so what i am trying to explain is that the end is i was trying to say before felt like i um i've told people that i feel like i've had a rebirth or i'm birthing and and literally that's how it's felt like like, <laughs> I'm in a womb, I can't totally tell what's going on here, and I'm very comfy in all my places at times that were not meant for me. Like, what are you doing trying to get me to move into this different, into this different life? I'm comfortable, you know, and that was hard for me to go through having to get uncomfortable and moving through this birthing canal, okay? Well, I'm out of the birthing canal. I'm right here. I'm being born right now, like literally right now. I am the new me. I am just the me I've always wanted to be is right here. I'm right here, and this is the universe had to push me through. 
in this like last <laughs> we'll see how the whole month goes because you know maybe just like a portion of me is out to begin to see the world but um it's gonna take some time obviously for me to get adjusted and it has it has taken me time to get adjusted i'm still adjusting my kids are still adjusting everybody's still adjusting all the time and so here's the thing is like so I, I kind of had that analogy with the birthing and then, you know, also kind of, I had said, kind of feels like I'm on the edge of the world, like I'm falling off, like I'm Velcroed to it, you know, and little by little, I was like, ah, I'm falling, like it's still, I'm still hooked on and now all of a sudden I'm free falling, I'm right here, free falling, can't you tell? Woo. Um. And the band-aid obviously so my guides show me all these things tell me all these things remember you said this remember you said this remember this these are you you knew this was going on you knew this was going to happen so it's here and you have to finally say it's here we're this is what we're doing we are teaching people how to love themselves and put themselves first and be the caregiver cheerleader because we love the caregivers. They're my everything. Yes, they are. And care receivers. You know, I won't say who, but somebody had said um, to me in the past on this journey that uh, I can't love anybody if if they're not in a wheelchair or I don't or you know something along those lines and you know if there's something I'm going to be known for I guess that wouldn't be the worst thing but I'm an equal opportunity employer I love everybody <laughs> you know but and you know I understand just like I have you know birthing you know, pain lessons, and there might be things that I still need to learn all the time. I'm still learning, and the universe is telling me, you're still learning, you're still learning, you know, and I learned, I've been learning really quickly this week, and so I'm here to show you what it's all about, and this is it. So, <sighs> One, well, I'm going to give, you know, little updates all the time about how Mecca's doing, obviously. And um, as the goddess of radical self-love and the free mermaid, um, for the little while, I am going to take you on the road, kind of, of how I ended up here in the last couple of years. So I'm probably going to be putting together, like, pulling out some pictures and getting some people's agreements to, you know, maybe they'll be on with me or at least I'm going to be able to talk about them and show our pictures or whatnot. Possibly. Some people, not. <laughs> some people, I don't really need their pictures in front of my face sometimes. <laughs> you know, lesson learned. <laughs> but I love them still. The whole deal is that we all are changing. So, we're all growing together. I've made mistakes. You've made mistakes. I love myself and I love that I'm learning. And I love that you're learning, you know, and maybe our energy is right on spot on and maybe it's not right now. So, you know, you can always come back and try again later, <laughs> you know? The first taste isn't always right, but second, third sometimes gets better. So I'm going to be first discussing like how I ended up getting here in the last couple of years, what radical self-love looks like for me, um, then on uh, how I ended up going from the life I had to the life I have now, 
you know, um, even being able to spot where I was two years ago and be able to walk you on that, um, all of it stems from long history. And so, you know, with the snake that never sheds, my book, you know, a lot of people can learn a lot of the lessons I um, not only learned and experienced, but, you know, grew from today. So uh, there's a lot of things in my life that I guess would have and did, did knock uh, me out of the correct energy zone, but who can say that since, you know, everything's for a reason, but I think just going through somebody's life that was uh, less than desirable from what most people would uh, probably consider it to what most people would consider the, you know, American dream, at least from the outside looking, you know, that's where I was. I, I was where two, not long ago. Cracks in the foundation, you know, cracks. Big gaping cracks, but I figured out what my values were and those who didn't align with them you know, um, no matter how close, no matter how much I loved and cared about them and valued what we maybe had together, um, had to change. Had to change. You know, because what I'm trying to do here is heal myself. I've worked really hard to do it. I'm working really hard to do it. And I just really feel like through the process of me doing this, the way I'm doing it, breaking it down into steps, dismantling my life for all of you, step by step, transmuting that energy and then allowing you guys to also do it yourselves since we will be having templates available on the snake that never sheds for you to also, since my memoir is a timeline, a uh, linear timeline, you really can, you know, step by step, write your own along with mine, get your pain out along with mine, you know, allow other people to read it if you want to, set up your own page around, you know, have, be on our grid. There's a lot of different amazing things that we're working on. I'm working on <laughs> uh, as the goddess of radical self-love and Orion, the conscious queen. You know, she's doing all of this while she's at the U. Um, and I'm driving her back and forth to school while I'm driving my children back and forth to school the opposite direction. So I'm on the road like four hours out of my day and I only get a tiny, tiny bit chunk of time to work on this for you guys. Thank God I had the last year and a half to really dive in and get my the business plan and everything done because we can go off a lot of that. I mean, there's a lot in there that is really amazing information, vital information for people that understand in the caregiving world and people who aren't in the caregiving world who need to understand at least the facts and figures and find out how the changing times in our demographics considering age would be affecting them because it's going to be affecting everybody everyone i saw really beautiful decorative um depends today at walmart and i was telling my daughter you know, it's hilarious. Like, I wish people understood how with the changing population's age, 
so many things are going to change. Things, things in our environments are going to start changing to suit those of senior or senior class. You will be seeing a lot more, a lot more of our environments now catering to our aging population, which is great for our disabled population because a lot of the same issues that they deal with on a daily basis and have for years can now start to get some of the benefits because we are all having to change for the aging population. And we're all gonna have to start working together a lot more cohesively, as you will see, as our employment rate, unemployment rate drops lower and lower and lower. So, huh, huh, yes, with all that, back to the Band-Aid. Back to the world with the Velcro coming off. Back to my rebirth. <laughs> I am head first coming out. And I'm, I'm here to serve. I've been serving, but I am here to serve you every day to cheer you on every day, to tell you how amazing you are, and to make sure that you're caring for yourself with self-care and self-love. Make sure that we're going through our Maslow, Mecca Maslow together, and you have all your needs met to make sure that you have a life filled with love, peace, happiness, prosperity, all of it. So that's what we're doing together with the band-aid, with the rebirth, all of it. We need some donations and we need some people to start jumping on board for our bloggers and vloggers. I really would hope and trust that there's a lot of people out there who would like to um, join the Goddess of Radical Self Loves Patreon within the book that the snake that never sheds you may be in it so if you know me personally and like i said there's a lot of lessons for a lot of people and uh yeah i just wanted to say that um thank you for watching. Thank you for being a part of my life. Thank you for caring about our caregivers and those they care for. Thank you for understanding that I am here, <laughs> that I'm here in service. I'm here to walk you through any of your blockages. I'm here to walk you through your ascension. I'm here to walk you through your life in general if that's what you need. If you want to see if you want to see somebody every day who no matter what will be smiling. It's about having the faith. I have faith in you. And you have faith in me and we work everything out together we make the plan for the future with our children with our aging population we together through mecca of course <laughs> so all right, well, I will see you tomorrow when we go on our first jaunt on uh, the journey of Mecca, the journey of goddess of self-love, um, goddess of radical self-love, 
the journey begins tomorrow. So hopefully we see you there. And then I have um, the Miss Mecca Maslow done as well. So um, she will be on our Patreon and we will um, do the first reading um, in the book and go over the lessons and our releasing, uh, renewing, reviving ceremony for the goddess of radical self-love. So donations, 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 goddess of radical self-love Patreon, um, radical self-love Mecca website. Orion will have all the details under this. This is going to be fun. It's a lot of work for me, but I love it. It's what I love. I do. I love it. So I'm just going to keep you guys informed of what I'm already doing um, on the daily. So, yes. Thank you. 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 I love you so much. And we will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.